We may have taken an L with the festival that happened last episode, but hey, it's fine because it's not about the money. It's about the message. And what is the message? That the E-Class are kind of cool. That E-Class might be the place where all the partying is at. It's, it's a fun place. And Principal is not having any of that. He was just walking, walking. He heard, wow, E-Class, great. He's like, I think he might show up today's episode. Let's begin today's reaction. Oh. Here we go, performance review time. ほう。ずいぶん接戦だったようだが。いや、それだけ<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> All we're doing is making excuses. Principal's right. If you truly wanted to win, you would have had some paid actors go up there and start puking after eating food and making a huge scene out of it and then spreading rumors. Yeah. You lack the resolve to kill, Asano. What? He's challenging Papa? Okay, this is a great direction. I can't get over the one on the fucking right, bro. Mm. <laughs> you meant to say minions there. No, 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 no. Those mighty foes. My minion. In the soundtrack cut. The best part is that the soundtrack fucking cut there. Is the Fraud 4 gonna make any comments about this? Look at the Fraud 4. My minions. Yeah. Yeah。仲間との縁に巡り掛けたろ。いや、いいの。それが僕の気持ちとは違う。なつが I mean, one of the important conclusions he got there was not just, you know, competing with strong rivals that 3E class could be and, you know, growing like that, but also his minions' friends. So if the principal gets rid of the minions, will Asano be more isolated and therefore get to a different conclusion? What's he about to do? Ah, uh, no. Off screen? I don't hear violent sounds. The aura here is different, though. <laughs> you, what could have happened in three fucking minutes? <laughs> they got trans. No, no, no. We've seen what Principal can do to, uh, what's it called? The baseball player, remember? All he, all he did was start whispering in his ears. And then the baseball kid started fucking, he just, he, he turned into like a Hulk. He got into the, like trance-like state. Yeah, I see that. Ah, oh, shit, here's the finals, too. Damn, bro. But if the principal loses, this is gonna be the very interesting thing. Where so far, Asano, this stream is actually fucking really menacing. Like, actually, like, just beyond delusional. Bro, you're having personal beef with middle school kids right now. Anyways, like, if he actually takes responsibility and then loses on his own behalf, he can't talk shit anymore. So far, Asano has been kind of being like the fall man. But like, if the principal himself gets directly involved with the finals and he still loses, then that's going to be a huge, you know, a huge moment. Okay. Takebayashi! Oh, Megane! Finals time, though. Okay. Wait, wait. Is this, is this the morning? Like, like, he gets a personal driver? I have to walk to school? Bro, give me a ride! The fuck? They live in a relatively humble neighborhood. I thought he'd be in like a mansion or something. I saw some homeless dude in the park. What's he gonna do? Leave the poor homeless guy alone. 
Leave him alone. What are you gonna do to this guy, bro? Hey. Okay, okay. What's he gonna do? Uh, he'll be a good person. Maybe he'll give him money and say, you know what? You can uh, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. I believe in you. Or he'll go there and whisper, you're a loser because you're a fucking loser. Get a house, motherfucker. You broke motherfucker. I'm going to my job right now. And you fucking around out here begging for money? Loser. Go get a house. <laughs> Is he going to do that? Oh, they know each other? No, just a random guy. The fuck? Okay, he's giving money to gamble. Another billion? Wait, 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 do we know this character? It's a complete random character, right? The way that they were kind of talking, I thought this is like a character that we might have known in the past or something, but no. It's just this hobby to go around giving people, like, false hope through gambling? <laughs> I need another billion. Okay. But that billion is just for his gambling thing, right? Um, the only way that I can rationalize why he's doing this is to be... Like, he is such a sinister person that the person being homeless is not enough. He wants to see the true disgusting side of humanity. And by giving a homeless person more money to gamble and lose and get caught up in even more vicious cycles of poverty, that's what he's hoping for? Yeah, the new assassination plan. Damn, that's a lot of money. Alright, another billion coming. Yeah, who told him that? <laughs> How does a middle school principal have government classified like information shit, bro? How does a middle school principal, not even high school, middle school, and he is just, he knows already what's happening behind the scenes. Alright. Classwork battle. Cap. Like it is so different now. Everyone's faces, like if you remember back in season one, just dead, no hope, depressed. Why are we here? Totally different. Everyone here is thriving. They all feel fulfilled. Alright. The gambler. The gambler? The homeless guy? Never mind. <laughs> Why did I fucking guess the homeless guy? No, the principal is taking over. He did say he's gonna take care of the final shit. Okay. Yeah, he does have charisma. <laughs> what is happening here? Everyone is pretty much impacted other than Asano and Fraud 4 guy? <laughs> Mach 20, 20 times faster. How'd you know? That's a loser's Stop it! Enough with the three minutes with the principal! They're gonna turn into monsters again. Look at the miasmas in the principal. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, it, it's more silly and funny than like scary, you know? Like what the fuck could have happened in three minutes? You coming back with your tongue out like that? <laughs> it's for me. 
それ以上に力を伸ばして叩きの君たち A 組のそういう姿を見て君たちの方が正しかったことを知り、わお。私たちの働きが人類のレベルを押し上げる。He's helping humanity, guys! あと、浅野くん、君の実力なら、油断しなければトップは取れる。Hmm. There is an interesting divide happening between Asano and Pops. And I think it's going to be better for us at this rate. Asano coming with his own conclusion of what it means, you know, regarding education. Him even challenging Pops even before this regarding the whole like sports festival stuff. Like, over and over, it looks like there is a divide happening, and maybe Asano could join our side? Because Is there any alliance that could happen? Maybe we'll have to help him out in the future? Who knows? Principal does not want us to know around. Feeling pretty left out. Regular teachers, my ass. Yo, yo, why do you think he chose. That's another thing. If we're just gonna stop memeing around of the whole, like, you know, principal has aura and crazy knowledge of how he knows, like, the fucking Japanese equivalent of the Pentagon's information, why is he settling for middle school principal work? Why not a high school? Like, why did you pick such a job that seems like you're settling with the, your potential like that? There must be a personal reason. And then I think that the missing link here definitely is the woman that is invested in 3E. But the fact that 3E already existed and she was begging Koro sensei to go save them means that Principal was already doing this shit. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. There was the whole like scientific experiment for Koro sensei too. And maybe we can kind of build on some sort of like. To enhance humanity, we're going to create this superhuman with Cthulhu cells. I don't know. How does that relate to the principal's ambitions of being a middle class principal? I feel like we're getting closer, slowly, slowly, but like, I, I don't know just yet. But it, it definitely has to relate with the wife. If the wife is the woman that told Koro Sensei to do this shit, until we get some sort of flashback, it's hard to like close the gap there. <laughs> Hey, you joining us? You should join us. I got kicked out. <laughs> Guys, you can't just go to other classmates and tell them to kill your dad. What the fuck? Wait, wait, what? Kimi Tachi ni koroste hoshi. Murderer? Mochiro. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 Yeah, you think so? You think the son craves the attention from the father that never gave him any attention? That's why he's rebelling like this? I'm not sure. What kind of fucking parenting is this, bro? It's like, bro, this is the most edgiest type of parent. Like, the baby gets delivered out of the womb. Little last night, it was like, wah, wah. And the dad is like, you will surpass me. You will hate me. You lack hatred. <laughs> like, this is some, like, Itachi Sasuke shit. Of, like, you must surpass me. You need to kill me, okay? Your entire existence is to surpass me and beat me. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's right. The centipede aura has always been, you know, the principal's, like, you know, fucking stand powers or whatever. So, who do you think has the worst... Family background, whole relationship. It's gotta be. I feel like Nagisa mom. It's it's pretty abusive for sure, but like us, it's it's not. I don't want to do you know abusive family Olympic tier list right now. <laughs> Cause that's really fucked up. But I feel like Asano and you know principal kind of take the king like that. That is I think like definitely at top. Like Nagisa definitely is top tier too. But I think Asano is definitely like you know first place at the top tier. <laughs>
No. <laughs> Look at that, his stand powers, bro. Look at that, his stand powers. The principal's miasma. Power of hatred is a cheap way. Love how he still calls him flunkies. And how like at the end of the day he's just doing this so that in the in the, in the future they won't be like frauds that can still help me the ruler. Okay. So we'll just have to beat him in the finals. <laughs> this is so fucking epic, bro. Hey, man. I'm glad you're enjoying those baby reactions. Go enjoy him. Yeah. It takes a lot to kind of put his pride aside and say this shit. Kamis is nah. Alright. Oh, the prophecy has been said. I think this is Karma's own way of sending yes, will help you. Of course, he's not gonna say, Asano man, they are there. Pat on the back. What a terrible father you have. We'll help you. Nah, this is Karma's way of saying, fuck you. I'll get first place. And I'll prove to your dad that, like, we're better. <laughs> Four. Four knees to the stomach. Alright. Just want you to realize that we're just about to fucking do some like math. Some fucking with the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the hell. <laughs> like we're trying to do some fucking multiple choice scantron shit right now. <laughs> fucking kill? <laughs> Assassinate? <laughs> oh gloves are off. Metaphorically. The hardest of the hardest ever. This is like a university exam, bro. So there's something funny about him comparing it to like a mediocre college at this point. Yeah, it's a middle school level, so mediocre college like gap is probably crazy. But it put, it could have been cooler if they said like, "Wow, this is like the level to get in like Tokyo University or something." <laughs> These two, do they have a personal relationship? Like, again, if we're gonna go with the theory that the girl that's always shown in Koro Sensei's like flashback is related to the principal somehow, they could share a very personal relationship that we don't know yet. The only scenes that I remember those two sharing is like when he visited us in season one, right? And like we were giving him like a back massage and everything. But uh, I don't know. I'd have to go back to season one and really trace down all their different, you know, like interactions to see if there was something like familiar there. I don't know. <laughs> Warn of his failures. Pass on success. Wait a minute. This makes it look like he's happier back then. And if you look, and, and it's not enough, but like if you look at this chalkboard, see how there's like pretty little flowery cloud drawing makes me feel like he was way more chill back then because he's writing like that <laughs> just 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 literally just this fucking bubble cloud that's it but like back in the day he used to be so chill and happy but he got corrupted and cynical what was the turning point what made him just give up on humanity it does look like 3e class too the whole like um table and shit Dude, their backstory is so important, come on! It does look like, though, based on that small, like, frame, that he's teaching a 3E. 
Like if you look at the podium here, it's all just wooden and kind of like shabby. Wonder what happened. Why did he change like this? He was originally a 3E teacher. The girl tells Koro Sensei to save 3E. Was he already principal at this point? Was he just a teacher at this point, teaching 3E? Then he realized that maybe the kids are just shit. <laughs> maybe the 3E kids were just so fucking trash that he became cynical by the end and decided, like, fuck them kids. I'm gonna be a principal and make 3E just like a sacrificial pawn to, you know, enhance everyone else. <笑>僕らはとにかく勉強した。ふった。差し物を殺せんせ。お。ボイス<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Paper Battlefield! We're back on the Colosseum, baby! Let's do our schizo delusion fights against the question monsters. Ooh, English! Special move! It's over? Oh shit. Wait. How did Karma do? This isn't looking good. Cannon incoming! Social study! <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Biology, math, English, social study. Scary. Oh shit! Science! Look at these raid bosses. Oh shit, it's the zombies. <laughs> okay, the imagery with these kids like just going crazy is actually cr This is actually really good though. This actually makes a lot of sense. Cause like they all like zombified there, it's all fucking mad. They're like pack of hyenas. <laughs> oh shit, it's a Japanese samurai. Yo, everyone's getting cooked. Where's karma? <laughs> I forgot about this Ritsu. It's the fake Ritsu. <laughs> え、全員ご注意ないが目標とだ。わかるわる。本物のビッツさんは Terasaka has a whole ass gun. And, and he's basically just using the gun like a melee weapon. He's not even using it much. He's just using his fucking body. <laughs> That's like the worst way to go about it too, bro. Because like it's like this, right? Let's say there's like a, a password that you're supposed to guess. And the password is four digits. And each placement of the password of the four digits, right, is the integer zero to nine. So then you gotta say how many different combinations of passwords can there possibly exist if you know the valid characters are zero to nine of the four slots. If you don't know that this is going to be then like four to the power of whatever with you know these numbers, you're gonna go through like zero 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 one. 0002, 0003, 0004. Like it's, it's like, no, no, no. It's 10 to the power of 4, right? If there's 0 to 9, and each slot is choice of 10, and there's 4 possibilities, it's 10 to the power of 4, right? But then you gotta fucking guess all that shit. That's crazy. Maybe. Basically, Koro Sensei has given up on Terasaka approaching these problems in like an optimal way. So 
This is like a special strategy for Terasaka. Project Unga Bunga. Alright, we're somehow winning, I think. We're looking for parts of credits now. I mean, we brought down the raid boss. That's a good thing. Uh oh. Phase 2. Phase 2. Recurrence relations. I don't really remember that in part of mathematics. Yo, all these designs are giving me like those, um. Uh. What was that show? The really sad show. There's like mecha stuff. It's a really popular show. Eva. 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 Evangelia. Yeah, yeah. There's like these monsters that show up in that show, right? They have like cool, like weird designs like this shit, right? This is the mediocre college question. We can't beat mediocre college questions, bro. <gasps> Karma. Yo, the hero showing up. Karma. Alright, that's it. That's that easy? Yeah. Cool guys don't look at explosions, man. He's so sick. Ooh. Did you? Hokashi was even teaching a subject too. That's pretty funny. But that is so true. The best way to like teach something, or sorry, learn something, is to teach someone else. Because like if you can actually like, like, like say it out loud and teach somebody these concepts, then you truly understand. Because sometimes maybe you don't understand. You kind of know maybe. But the more you talk about it and reason it, and the more you can like convince the other person about the subject, like that's how you really learn. Cool. Oh yeah, where's that snow at? Oh shit! Yeah, this soundtrack is so hype. Another boss is coming in. It's a meteor. Cliffhanger? Yo, they really made the final exam so hype. Man, I gotta give it to him. Like, these designs, the monsters, they're not like random shitty monsters that, you know, it's just like kind of last, like, it's boring. Like, every one of them has such a cool design and a concept. And like, it falling down like this, it truly does feel like a final boss. Booba. Man, these boss designs, the one with the cube with the statue, like, this shit looks like some kind of like, like final god level monster you would find in like a JRPG or something, right? Like these designs are really, really cool, but that's today's episode. An episode of final exams, but you know, we're doing our schizo fighting stuff and what's happening? Principal has decided to take upon himself. He said, enough, fuck it, I'll do it myself. Y'all taking too many L's. Just three minutes. All he needs is three minutes. <laughs> then he says, like, what does he say? I wonder. <laughs> maybe, maybe he says, E-class thinks you're trash. E-class fucked your mom in a COD lobby. And all the kids are like, kill them, kill them, kill them. They get all zombified. The principal is crazy. Um, And then it's, it's just basically that. The really interesting stuff, though, is principal and Koro Sensei's interaction. Because Koro Sensei is a brand new teacher and he talks about passing on the successes or the failures to be a teacher. But what was principal doing before? It looks like he was teaching 3E and based on the overall mood in this frame, it looks like he was pretty happy and chill. Something fundamentally changed him that made him detest the system. Something so fucked up must have happened where the only way to like, I don't know, like rationalize in his mind is for 3E to happen. If we're going to take the theory that like the woman that asked Koro Sensei to save 3E is the principal's wife, then like maybe I could have thought of like, oh shit, uh, for some way, some reason, because the principal was teaching in 3E with a mindset like this, it caused his wife's death. 
I don't know how the fuck that happens. There's a big logical gap there. But I'm just trying to think of like a, such a fucked up experience. Maybe his wife died. But we know that wife was alive by the time she said save 3E. Like, I, I don't know how this stuff works. But slowly but surely, little more details are filling in the pieces of the puzzle. And starting to make more and more sense. Um, the final outcome of this exams, I'm not really sure if we're going to be too well off, but it's definitely going to be Karma and Asuna kind of like duking that for the top. And because it's so hard, even though we're kind of all doing bad, maybe it's going to be like a bell curve thing where everyone else was also struggling and we'll see exactly what's going to happen after this showdown. That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.